ะคะและลำดับต่อไปอีกหนึ่งหัวข้อนะคะจะเป็นการพูดถึงนวัตกรรมและเทคโนโลยีใน Smart Manufacturing นะคะและเทคโนโลยีของ n a s l a บค่ะดิฉันขออนุญาตดำเนินรายการเป็นภาษาอังกฤษนะคะ And next agenda will be talk about innovation and collaboration in smart manufacturing and introduction of n a l a b s intelligent technology. Our speaker today, he is distinguished professor from Department of Mechanical Engineering from National Taiwan University, Taiwan, and he is Director General Taiwan Instrument Research Institute. TIRI National Applied Research Laboratory or NAS Lab. Please welcome Dr. Yao Zhou Yang. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is really my great pleasure to share our result here. However, I found that uh, we just have so many results in terms of research result, and uh, I just would like to introduce our center a little bit. Then I will give, uh, describe the motivation why we set up this platform for smart manufacturing. And uh, then I will show an animation so you will understand a little bit about uh, what we have done before. And uh, of course, I think the purpose of this talk is, is that we would like to invite you to visit our center and uh, our, you know, a lot of cent Actually, we are just one of the center in our labs and uh, we have Eight center research. Actually, each center is, is like a national laboratory, and uh, we we we, would, we just would like to invite you to visit our centers, so we will see the uh, research capability in Taiwan. So, um, actually, right now, and and the uh, direct general of the TIRI, uh, TIRI is Taiwan Instrument Research Institute, and also I'm a professor in National Taiwan University. So. What is TIRI? Uh, TIRI is Taiwan Instrument Research Institute. Actually, we are not the, 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 no, the, the, the institute to provide the, you know, we, 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 don't, buy, we don't buy facility and uh, share the facility to people. We just developing facility and uh, we collaborate with a lot of professors in Taiwan or industry in Taiwan and uh, we just developing, uh, you know, customize our very Pioneer facility. So uh, actually, our center Tiri is located in Xinzhou County, is in the northern part of Taiwan, and uh, uh, we have two campus. One campus in, in the science park of Xinzhou. The other one is the, in Xinzhou Biotech Science Park. And uh, uh, right now, we have about like uh, 250 people. So the mission of, of our center is that, of course, we are doing instrument development. Of course, we do a lot of research to do the technology inno innovation. We would like to help our industry uh, to improve their technology. Of course, we collaborate uh, with a lot of uh, professors in academia, and uh, we do a lot of scientific discovery. Of, of course, scientific discovery doesn't make too much money, however, uh, we work with a lot of uh, physics professors or chemistry professors. They do a lot of nanotechnology or space science and so on. So we have three core technology and uh, one purpose. So the first core technology is that we have the ultra precision optical mechanical design and, and uh, fabrication ca capability. The reason why we would like to introduce our core technology is that uh, later on, I will present the uh, paradigm platform for smart manufacturing. Actually, it's based on our core technology. So I would like to introduce our core technology first. And uh, for example, for this one, uh, we are, I think we are the only center who can provide a large scale lens. For, for example, for the, for the semiconductor industry or for the space science for the satellite lens. And, uh, uh, and for example, we can fabricate uh, the, the lens, the scale had maybe like a six, uh, 0.6 meter in terms of that di diameter. And uh, uh, the, I mean, the, the precision is in the nanometer scale. And uh, we are also 
a, a very advanced team to do the same film deposition or same film coating. And uh, we are also the, the very advanced uh, team in the vacuum technology. For example, uh, I think just maybe, maybe just two months later, we will ship out a ALD chamber, a tummy layer deposition chamber for 12 inch cluster tool. I mean, the total class tool is about four million US dollar, and uh, the ALD chamber is actually from our center, and uh, the the class tool will ship to the LED industry, a, a very big company in Taiwan, so that uh, LED uh, L, uh, ALD atomic layer deposition uh, machine is kind of mainstream deposition machine right now in the semiconductor industry, and also we we are developing developing a tummy layer etching machine. Uh, right now, a tummy layer etching machine is kind of, you know, nobody provides this, there's no vendor right now. And so, because the, this kind of etching, etchers can etch like few nanometer scale, even smaller. And uh, a lot of uh, academia team in Taiwan is very interested in this kind of facility. And uh, I think we will ship out the first one in Taiwan uh, in the mid of this year. And uh, I think the professor is from Tsinghua University and uh, we already sent him the quotation and he uh, agreed with the quotation. So actually we, are, we have very good vacuum technology and also symphony uh, deposition technique. And uh, the third one is that uh, we are, the, I think, the, the largest uh, facility for the uh, medical devices uh, uh, Test, test and the verif uh, verification, uh, I mean, facilities. And uh, our president actually visited this site three times during the past two years, which means um, this kind of facility is quite uh, popular in Taiwan. And uh, the government invests about, uh, I think, more than 15, US, 15 million US dollars for the facilities. And uh, the purpose of this facility is to help the small company to commercialize their uh, uh, medical devices. And because this, it is not our focus here, so I just skip this one. So uh, the purpose of our center is to realize your idea, ignite your dream. So we always consider that endeavor to become the Taiwan dream team for the frontier technology. So we are like a, 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 like a very advanced maker space. So our our team member, uh, our uh, the, the the member in our, the researcher in our center is actually uh, from a lot of different department, like for the electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, physics, chemistry, or or chemical engineering, material science. A lot of people. So we we do a lot of interdisciplinary projects. Then I will talk about uh, our manufacturing equipment. So we have six CNC based machine. So actually our manufacturing e uh, equipment is not very, you know, the scale is not that large. However, we have very high precision machine like uh, we have two diamond turners, uh, which is very expensive. And uh, we also have 10 polishing machine, which is for the optical lens. Also, we have 10 symphony coaters. Most of the coaters is, is, you know, developed by, by our uh, by our engineer, by our researcher. We also have three high-end 3D printers. And this 3D printer is actually for the biomedical purpose. We can use polymer material and the metal material. So we also have a lot of measuring equipment. Uh, so like we have like TEM, FEM, FM, CMM, and uh, interferometer, of course. And this view graph show more measuring equipment. And uh, of course we have MRI and the CT. These two machines just, just focus on uh, for the animal testing. So which is kind of rare because in Taiwan right now, uh, the CT MRI is in hospital. And uh, if we want to do the animal testing, you have to, to deal with the, the hospital. But right now they have some regulations. It's become much more difficult. However, these two machines for example, like this MRI is three Tesla. I mean, three T, three T MRI is very, uh, very expensive one, and it's just, just dedicated for the animal testing. 
So we have a lot of partners. Of course, our biggest partner is government agency. He's their boss. He's our boss. Our, you know, our funding, most of our funding is donated by the government. We also work with a lot of industry. And uh, of course, uh, we are sponsored by the uh, Ministry of Science and Technology. So we, we do a lot of collaboration with academia research teams and also a, a lot of hospitals. And uh, right now, our, our funding breakdown is like that, uh, about um, uh, the, the fixed government funding is about uh, one quarter of our total funding. And uh, we got another half, uh, another one quarter also from government, but it's not fixed. Government just give, give us uh, additional project. And uh, we have a, additional uh, one half of project from the industry. So let's talk about the, the smart machine. If we want to talk about smart manufacturing, we, have, we, we, we probably start with the smart machine. So smart machines, we can make some analogy. So that's the machine, that's the, the human. And uh, of course, uh, we human has a brain. So for the CNC machine, we have a controller. And uh, of course, we have to do something. So we have human has hands, legs. And uh, of course, the, the CNC machine has actuators such as motors or drive. And uh, of course, we have the body. And the CNC machine have the, some very, very sturdy structures. Of course, uh, we, have a, you know, we have a lot of sensing mechanism on our body, like uh, we have eye, or we have the nose, and we have the touch, this kind of you know, sensing capability. So for the CRC machine, they have a lot of sensors or encoders. And uh, most importantly, especially right now, it's in the internet era. So we, we, the communication is quite important. So it's like a nerve system in the human body. So this view graph shows the smart machine and smart manufacturing. This, this view, these two pictures are just two examples of the smart manufacturing from Taiwan industry. So this one is from the Sinforce. This one is from the Advantech. And uh, uh, you can find out there are some common places. For example, they have CNC, computer, internet. And they have software like MES system, ERP system. Of course, they have some data to communicate with them a lot of components. And uh, finally, they also emphasize the cloud. So just, just a you know, typical view of the smart manufacturing and smart machine. However, if you want to go more details, so we will find out if we have a CNC-based machine, which is uh, like a pre pre precision machine, and uh, we put some intelligent technology, like robotic software, uh, uh, to, Internet of Things and uh, big data and uh, cyber physical system and also lean management or lean production like 3D print, printing technique and also sensors. We put all these kind of intelligent technology together to become a smart machine. And uh, we, we, we put a lot of smart machine together and uh, we you know, leverage by the cloud computing. We will have a smart manufacturing or a smart production line. So smart manufacturing is actually a term from the United States. So American people say it's the first journey. The first journey is that people collaborate together to make the production efficient. So it's a cultural change. Then they, people trying to improve the process to make the, the, the product quality higher. And uh, then people introduce the automation technology because of the computer was in, introduced. So we, we we, so that's the auto, automation era. And uh, finally, so that's the fourth journey that so people leverage by the data. Because right now, we have internet. We have the very, very cheap storage space. So we can get a lot of data. And also, sensor be, become the dominated in right now. So we can collect a lot, a lot of data. So we can use the data to do a better product, even understand the customer need. I think this view graph, people, I period two speakers already introduced industry 4.0, and uh, uh, smart manufacturing is, is kind of, you know, uh, a term incorporated with the 
industry 4.0. So I think I just keep this one. So before smart manufacturing, each, each machine has sensor controller and the actuator. And of course, the data can be, tra can, can be communicated between these three L, uh, components. And uh, before smart manufacturing, we can do mass production efficiently. However, after the uh, smart manufacturing, we will find out we still have sensor, controller, and actuator. However, we also have cloud computing. And also, we will find out the data can back and forth talk to each other. And uh, also, you will find out, I, on purposely, I put these two bucks bigger. So the sensor become bigger, and the cloud computer become bigger, which means we use much more sensors than before. And uh, also, the cloud is just everywhere, and uh, so many app, so many applications can be downloaded or can be purchased from the cloud. So, because the communication skill become much better, and uh, also we have cloud computing, so we can customize our production. So, so that's the the, the, the difference before and after smart manufacturing. This view grade shows the typical architecture of smart manufacturing. So we have the APP, so, it's, so APP which means we can do the maintenance, we can do the artificial intelligence, and we, we can also do the production inventory management. And uh, we also have, of course, we need some platform to provide those APPs. So then, and uh, of course, and uh, right now, this kind, this, this blue uh, green box is actually the crowds. So we can put a, a lot of uh, APP or platform on the crowds. And uh, uh, of course, the cloud can be in the you know, Amazon or can be in the Microsoft or could be in the headquarter of the company. However, in the local ends, we have the edge computing. And the, the, we need some standard code to communicate with the edge communicate between the edge and the platform. And uh, the typical protocol is OPC UA. And uh, what's edge computing? Which means we have a, a computer just beside the, 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 the manufacturing machine. So, so in the edge computing, of course, we have a lot of, you know, a, a, lot, a lot of, uh, uh, like a setup box, or just, be, just install in the computer or beside the computer. And the setup box can, communicate with the controller from different vendors. And uh, of course, the controller control the machine. And uh, we also put out a lot of sensor on the machine. Of course, the, the sensor can also be additional put on the, on the CNC machine. They don't need to talk to the controller. They can connect to the edge computer. So that's the typical architecture. And uh, uh, I would like to talk about why we want to establish the, the platform for the smart manufacturing in our center. And so I would like to talk about the current status of the small or mid-sized factory in Taiwan. Actually, in Taiwan, CNC machine is quite, is quite common. However, most factory doesn't have enough IT expert. IT means information technology. So they are relatively slow to independently improve their internal IT environment. And also, a uh, controller or a sensor expert is difficult, di difficult to find. So most of the small companies is incapable to acquire use useful data for internal analysis. And uh, also, most of the small companies, they record their production data by hand. So they never use the data, or they, they use the data very in, uh, efficiently way. So because of this, we would like to, we, we, are, we, are, we were thinking about that, could we use our small f factory in our center? Of course, we only, uh, the, the factory is just a, a small portion of our center. Because of this, the scale is not that big. However, however we have a lot of CNC-based machine, and we have a lot of measurement machine. So we would like to connect all the machine together to, to have a, a to have a platform which might be similar to the small or mid-sized 
uh, factory in Taiwan, and uh, we collaborate a lot of national laboratories of under NAR labs. For example, like uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Research Institute, they develop, develop the sensor and they put the sensor on the CNC machine of our center. And of course, the National High Performance Computing Center, they have a lot of cloud computing facility and they have a, a lot of IT experts, so they develop the, the, the platform for the cloud computing. So, so actually you find out uh, about, we have eight national labs under NAR labs. However, five centers, five, five national labs join this project together. And of course, under the same platform, a lot of, uh, a lot of smart manufacturing company they donate or they just send their product and uh, attach to uh, this product line. You know, we have a, we have a, a optical precision, high precision optical components product line. They just put their like a controller or a sensor or a software and, uh, uh, and they install this, their, their product in this pro production line and uh, they can test it or even demonstrate to their potential potential customer. So actually this, uh, this, this platform is not only for academia, but also for the industry. And uh, of course we have another very big uh, project which is sponsored by the Ministry of Science and Technology. We, we are kind of like a, 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 a big, big center. We coordinate, we invite 12 university who has uh, manufacturing factories and uh, of course in a university they they sometimes they have a very very expensive uh, manufacturing facility like diamond turner or like machining centers and uh, but you know in the university their their factory usually is not very efficient so by this project we we trying to connect all their CNC based machine to the network and uh, we have a uh, uh, we install a very big platform, software cloud platform in the uh, National High, Com High Performance uh, Computer Center, which is also one of our national labs in, under the NAR labs. And uh, we work together. And uh, right now we even have, a, we, we, we hold, we, we hold a, a, a AI competition and uh, we collect the data from their own machine and uh, they can share the data together and uh, they can analyze the data. So, so we, we really improve, promote, we really promote the, the AI knowledge to the, uh, to the academia, especially in the mechanical engineer, engineering department. And, uh, and uh, for example, last year we have an AI competition and uh, we got some donation from the, from the industry, very big company. That, we, 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 four companies donate, each company donate like uh, 40,000 US dollars for the award. And uh, they are just trying to find out the best team in AI. And uh, this, this team can solve their, uh, their, their production problem and uh, based on AI algorithm. And uh, I think last year the, the, the AI competition is quite successful. And uh, we, of course, we, we will have another competition this year. And uh, uh, it is just a video, but we don't have enough time to just show how all this kind of platform to collaborate with a lot of university in Taiwan. And I just skip this one. And uh, uh, that's the, 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 the end point and milestone of our, our smart manufacturing. And uh, I, I think that's just too much. And I just skip a lot of slides maybe over 20, these slides, maybe you can discuss in the afternoon, because each slide is like a two or three master thesis or like a PhD thesis. Some of the slide collaborate with uh, two or three professors in Tsinghua or Jiao Tong or, or NTU universities. And uh, so I just skip to the last one, which is a video. So I conclude my talk by this video.
Well, it's just a nice nice high chair spider as the uh, moss suggests. So it's not coming to our view. And uh, so all the data can be uploaded to the cloud. And uh, we can also check the data from the handheld devices. And, and this, most of the machines for the uh, large scale lens fabrication. And of course, we have to assemble the, 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 the lens. And also, we have some collaboration with the university so they can, we find a, the best way to align the large scale lens. And uh, the lens is actually for the, uh, the semiconductor stapler or for the satellite. So I think that's the conclude of my talk. So thank you so much. And I do apologize for inconvenient inconvenient about sound technique. Sorry. Thank you, Dr. Yao Zhou Yang. <laughs>